Hi, this is Don, and welcome to Data-Driven Real Estate Investing, where we help you make informed rental property investment decisions based on big data analytics and inputs from actual experts in the field. Hi, this is Don, and today I'm going to take you through how you can drill into a particular neighborhood within the investment investing platform. So this is, uh, these are the results of some searches that you might have done uh, that I've gone through in a previous exercise. And let's say you now want to do a deep dive into one particular property that catches your eye. And this property happens to be in Midlothian, which is about 25 miles southwest of Dallas. It's a pretty new community, uh, new houses, generally new houses around here. So you can see you've got some details here. But for this exercise, I really want to drill into the neighborhood of who really lives uh, or what kind of renters can I expect in this neighborhood. So I click on the neighborhood tab and it gives me some stats. It tells me how many households are there, the population, what the labor force is. And it gives me a distribution of rents in this neighborhood. Now this is kind of important because I'm looking at a rent of about, you know, um, 24, 2495 is what the system is projecting. And I want to know how many people can afford this rent. So I come over here and I see that about 76%, 77% of the people can afford a rent that's higher than 1500 That makes me feel good. Uh, the system also tells me that in order to make this rent payment, you know, the, the people in this neighborhood that can make the payment have to make over a certain amount of money, which is $99,800 in, all, in order to afford that rent with a rent to income ratio that we're using. So then the question I have is how many people are actually making that 99,800? And I see that about 40% of the population is making over $100,000. So that kind of makes me feel good that I'm not going to be an outlier in this neighborhood where people can't afford the rent or people are not actually going to be uh, making the amount of money they need to, to pay the rent, right? So this is a good thing. Um, then I look at things like commute time distribution. Is this an outlier neighborhood? Does it take forever to get somewhere? It's a, is it a satellite bedroom community? And I see that 50, 53% of the working population has a commute time of 15 to 44 minutes, which is you know the new normal in most places in any town in USA. Certainly where we live in LA, it's a quantum higher than that. So by and large, the commute distances look reasonable. So people want to live here and find work. Uh, then I want to look at, you know, what industries are around here. So you can see that it's fairly diversified. It's not, you know, just dependent on healthcare or tech or something like that, where if there's, a, if there's an issue with that one sector, then, you know, you have a, a vacancy issue. Uh, the age distribution also seems to be uh, pretty diverse. So you've got all kinds of ages in here, which is a good thing. Education level seems pretty decent. You know, you've got 30%, 28.5% have some college. Uh, six and a half of master's degrees to 99.2 percent of associate degrees. So, you can you can see that you know this is a uh, you know a little more educated as a neighborhood. So they're probably working in better jobs, and this gives me the the sectors of you know the occupation of what they do, and then I have a local area map, and this is sort of interesting. Uh, I, some people uh, look at Starbucks and say you know Starbucks did a lot of research to figure out neighborhoods they want to be in. So I want to see if there are Starbucks in the neighborhood, right? I mean, so I expand this out a little bit and bam, you know, bingo, there's a Starbucks right there in Midlothian. So if I want to look at restaurants and say, there's quite a few restaurants there, that's a good place to eat. Are there hospitals in here? Yes, there are. There's a hospital close by. That's good. How many major employers are around here? So you can also, you know, sort of expand it out and see where those major employers end up. And, you know, this is kind of the commute discussion that we had had earlier. So there are a bunch of major employers. You can look at things like shopping malls and, and you know, see if there's shopping malls in the area. And these are all sort of surrogates that you can look at to actually understand um, what the neighborhood looks like. Now, it's important because, you know, when you run around with a realtor and you're looking at properties, it's difficult to get this type of data for you to be able to make a decision. And what we've done here is given you a neighborhood level information all in one place to help you make that decision whether you should buy or not buy in this particular neighborhood. So more stuff next time on the investment investing platform and this was the neighborhood session. If you're an investor, you can check out the platform at homeunion.com 
And if you're a provider dealing with investors and would like to use the platform for your business, check it out at investmentroi.com.